just a quick vid, I hope. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, getting ready for the 4th. It's the 4th, uh, and uh, kind of waiting on some people. I need to clean up the garage just a tad bit, but I'm kind of playing around on this. I've got a few bow ties in. Uh, Somebody didn't. I got to do a lot better job of holding the uh, the bow tie down while I'm uh, using my uh, knife to cut out the edge. This one here is particularly horrid, so I'm going to have to fill that with some some filler uh, to get that to look halfway decent. But anyway, uh, that's not really the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to talk about uh, Osmo, um, which is right here. So essentially, I've been watching a bunch of videos. Again, I think if you if you guys have been paying attention, you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna epoxy this. Although you could use this stuff with a, with a epoxy, uh, but kind of been doing some research uh, and looking at how I want to finish off this tabletop. And this is one of those things that uh, definitely has a small cult following. And from what I was looking at it. It works really, really nice. So, uh, pretty expensive. Uh, that little jar right there is $45. Uh, not real thrilled with that. Uh, but I am here on the bottom kind of trying it out a little bit. And I don't know if you guys can really see. I've got one coat down. I'm going to go ahead and sand uh, up to, I think I've got 400. So, I think I'm going to sand up to 600 uh, on this coat and then just do one more. Uh, and my dog is wondering who I'm talking to. Uh, anyway, uh, but uh, you can see it's kind of it's, it's pretty uh, it is it is satin uh, Although you can gloss it up uh, But it looks really good essentially. It's an oil plus wax based really hard wax uh, based um, product uh, And if I can get it to focus in on this and the one thing I really liked about uh, You know the the reviews and the conversations about this was the fact that it really left your wood to be wood it feels like wood it looks like wood unlike a lot of the polys which are essentially plastic and that's kind of what i've been using for a while uh this is a really hard wax uh, but it leaves your leaves your wood uh, the way uh, wood should feel uh, so that's that's really a, a plus and then it really gives a very 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 uh, hard finish to it um, you can literally put uh, you know cans of you know soda and and stuff on it and not leave rings uh, so uh, that kind of stuff really 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 hard finish uh, you do need of course put a few coats on a uh, little of this stuff goes a long way though so i'm hoping that uh that it all works out you can actually see oh that's actually a spot where it's just dutch uh or dutch danish oil so I actually got a couple of rings right there from a, a beer bottle that I, I'll sand off eventually. But anyway, this is the bottom. Just kind of playing with it to see uh, what it looks like, seeing how it brings out the uh, wood. That's the other thing, too, that I really liked about it is it really brings out the grain, brings out your little uh, medullary rays, um, you know, your, your chatoyants in your wood, all that kind of good stuff. You guys can look all that up. You can kind of see some, you know, some really nice lateral uh rays right there in the wood which is just you know really pretty so uh, we have this really beautiful uh sort of gray blue gray uh ring that goes all the way up and around it that cheryl and i are wanting to keep it's our, it's on the other side too so this is another one of those that, that uh, will keep that um you know will, will help keep that and again the the feel of it is just awesome right i mean it feels like it feels like wood it doesn't feel like plastic uh, so that's what's really nice too the heat the texture it it, it feels like wood um, and so uh, that oil and that uh, the oil and the wax essentially the oil seeps in of course and the wax is kind of left on the surface uh, you put it on really really thin uh, and then you just you know build it up so anyway gonna hit it with some some 600 grit uh, and uh, see what I can get this stuff to do just to kind of see what it looks like here on the bottom uh, I, I really kind of like it it really did bring out the bow ties uh, brought up the color for those really nice so so that's cool uh, the Paduke uh, even though I've got big gaps there it look they look really nice that's going to be with the top 
is made out of. So eventually that's what's going to be filler in here. So anyway, we'll see how it looks. I'll post some pictures.